the Gobi Go Light. Will it pass or is it a piece of trash? Let's find out. What's up, catfish fans? Uh, back with another product review. I know y'all probably waiting on those flathead videos and they are coming, but this right here was gonna be a crucial part of that. Uh, I actually tried to wire up some lights on my boat over the weekend. Oops, sorry. I actually tried to wire up some lights on my boat over the weekend, which I had mentioned that in the last video, but the lights that I had, they just were not gonna work. Um, and I couldn't find what I was looking for anywhere. So I ordered this Gobi Go Light, uh, two day shipping. It came on in pretty quick. It's uh, first glance, it looks good. Um, so it's got it's got the on and off switch right here. I hope you can see that for your marker light. And then it's got the remote control that works the light left, right, up, down, on, off. There's on, down. I don't know how bright it's gonna be, but it, I mean, it's still, you know, sun's beaming down bright and it's it's pretty dang bright now. So we work it up down, side to side. I like this idea because, you, you know, uh, when, you're try, when you're trying to plane out and the front of the boat sticking up, you know, you, you've got so many different adjustments with it. So it's better than, it's, or I think it's gonna be better than what hard mounted lights would have been anyway. Uh, but anyway, I'll, uh, whoops. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it overheated or what. Maybe I lost connection. Wouldn't come on there for a second. That may not be a good sign. But we'll find out. Um, I'm gonna let it get dark and I'll come back and mess with it some more just to see the brightness and let it burn for a while and make sure that it's not overheating something on my boat and that's what caused it not to wanna to come on just now. Maybe I just wasn't hold the, hold, holding the remote right. That's probably about right. Uh, usually, when, usually when I have stuff that won't work, it's user error. <laughs> it's, a lot of times it's not the product, but a lot of times the products are junk. But uh, yeah, user error occurs a lot too. So anyway, uh, like I said, I'm gonna stop rambling, but this is it, the Gobi Go light. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll get back to it when it gets dark and we'll see how bright it is and just test it out thoroughly, see how it works. All right, so it got dark. Got the nav light on. I'm about to try out the spotlight. So what I discovered earlier when this thing kept turning off is I had to put a bigger circuit breaker in uh, on my nav light switch. So if you buy one of these, you can go ahead and plan on needing a 15 amp. Uh, well, I actually went with a 20 amp, but uh, I done a little research and you need a 15 amp circuit breaker for it to run on. Uh, I'm actually thinking this is going to be pretty good. I'm going to jump up in the boat and try to get a view. We'll see. I'm not in the boat, but I'm sitting back here about where I would be driving. Uh, and I know you can't see very far because I got that storage shed and all those overgrown bushes there. But this thing is pretty dang bright. Shine it up in the trees, maybe. Let me go back up here. It is pretty bright, and if you bring it down to here, it throws a pretty wide beam. Um, it's more of a spotlight than a floodlight, but that's okay. I think it throws wide enough you can see outside of the boat, and you'll definitely be able to see, uh, I would say, a a good 100, 150 yards ahead, I would think. I 
think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. Um, we'll get it out on the water and test it out this weekend. And uh, we'll get a use video out of it, or however I need to word that. Oh, got a bug. Anyway, um, yeah, I believe it's going to work. I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.